Something big is happening in the sky and it could change long flights for the next 30 years. Boeing is pushing ahead with its huge 77710 and Airbus is planning the even longer a 35200. These new giants could carry more people farther than any planes before. Airlines everywhere are holding their breath, but what secrets and surprises will these powerful machines bring next? Let's find out. Emirates made a landmark order at the Dubai Air Show 2025 for 65 additional Boeing 7779 aircraft, valued at $38 billion at list prices. The truly significant aspect of this deal extended far beyond the 7779 purchase itself. Emirates' agreement with Boeing includes options to convert its latest order into the 7778 or 7710, providing strong backing for Boeing's 7710 feasibility study, this single move transformed what had been theoretical speculation into a concrete development path. Emirates now operates the world's largest Boeing 777 fleet and remains Boeing's most influential customer in the wide-body market. The 777 represents an entirely stretched variant of the existing 777X family. Boeing has been quietly studying this larger model for years, but lacked the customer commitment needed to justify moving forward. Tim Clark, president of Emirates, stated clearly his position on the matter. According to Aviation Week, Emirates has been open about the fact that we are keen for manufacturers to build larger capacity aircraft, which are more efficient to operate, especially with projected air traffic growth and increasing constraints at airports. Clark believes the 777 is technically achievable. He explained that maximum takeoff weight increases were already planned, the wing would remain standard across the 777 family, and the GE9X engine possesses inherent growth potential. The technical feasibility appears sound. What changes now is the business case, powered by Emirates' commitment to purchase options. Meanwhile, across the wide-body spectrum, Airbus faces mounting pressure from the same customer regarding a different aircraft. At the Dubai Air Show, Airbus CEO Christian Scherer acknowledged that the company is actively studying a larger A350 variant, colloquially referred to as the A350-2000. The A351-1000 currently seats approximately 350 to 410 passengers depending on configuration. A stretched A350-2000 would push capacity closer to 400 to 440 seats in typical two-class arrangements positioning it directly alongside the 7779 and 7710 in the high-capacity segment. Scherer's comments confirmed genuine development work. He stated that customers were requesting the stretch because it could serve as a compelling solution for their expansion plans. Unlike the 7710, which benefits from an engine platform with proven growth margins, the A350-2000 faces engineering challenges. The current Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engine would require substantial upgrading or replacement to power a meaningfully stretched airframe, particularly in the hot and dusty operating conditions preferred by Middle Eastern carriers. Tim Clark outlined the strategic imperative behind both aircraft programs. Airlines will retire their Airbus A380 fleets throughout the 2030S and 2040S. Emirates currently operates 116 a 380S, roughly half of all a 380S ever produced. Without certified high-capacity alternatives, carriers face impossible choices. Operate smaller aircraft at higher frequencies or consolidate routes. Dubai's constrained airport infrastructure amplifies this problem. Dubai International Airport operates near maximum capacity. However, Dubai World Central, a new airport expansion completing in 2032, will handle 190 aircraft simultaneously, fundamentally changing how Emirates structures its network. This timeline window makes the delivery schedules of both the 7710 and a 35200 critically important. The 7710 program faces a clear advantage. Emirates expects first 779 deliveries in 2027. Clark indicated the 7710 would not arrive until well into the 2030s, consistent with historical precedent where stretched variants launch five to six years after initial production variants. The GE9X engine requires no fundamental redesign. Airbus confronts significantly longer development timelines. 
Boeing's 777X program has already endured substantial delays, having missed its original 2020 delivery target by seven years. Adding a new variant to an already pressured certification pipeline complicates Airbus's planning severely. Both aircraft address the same market reality. Slot-constrained hub airports demand maximum capacity operations. The winner will fundamentally shape global aviation networks for two decades. Emirates' dual commitment to both programs signals the airline believes both aircraft will eventually enter service. Neither manufacturer can afford to abandon development entirely, yet both face extraordinary technical and financial barriers to execution. The announcements made at Dubai Air Show 2025 represent the opening moves in an extended competition that will define the wide-body market's future. Airlines have spoken. Manufacturers must now deliver. After decades of dominance in the long-haul segment with A350-1000, Airbus now faces a competitor it cannot match. Boeing's 777X enters commercial service with far bigger capacity that rewrites industry standards. Airlines have already ordered 622 aircraft. This is the aircraft that will reshape how airlines operate their most profitable routes. The question isn't whether the 777X will compete, it's how quickly it will claim market share. The 777X represents the third generation of the 777 family, a wide-body twin-engine jetliner first introduced in 1990. As of now, Boeing's total 777X backlog has grown to roughly 622 firm orders, following a new deal during the Dubai Air Show 2025, which included 65 additional 777 9s from Emirates. The 777-9 seats 426 passengers and features a range exceeding 7,285 nautical miles. This capacity advantage becomes critical when compared to its primary competitor. The Airbus A350-1000 carries approximately 350 passengers. This 76-passenger difference translates directly to revenue generation on major hub-to-hub -hub routes like Dubai, London, Singapore, Sydney and Doha, New York. Airlines operating these routes demand larger aircraft with stronger cargo capability. The 777X's wider fuselage delivers a massive advantage in cargo capacity. The belly cargo advantage directly boosts airline profits on routes where freight demand continues increasing. This cargo capability separates the 777X from aircraft designed primarily for passenger efficiency rather than mixed-use operations. The aircraft's wingspan, when fully extended, measures 235 feet and 5 inches from tip to tip. This represents a 23-foot increase compared to the previous generation 777. The folding wingtip mechanism reduces the wingspan to 212 feet and 9 inches during ground operations. This engineering solution addresses a fundamental constraint. Airport infrastructure categories established by the International Civil Aviation Organization. Code E designates gates for aircraft with wingspans up to 213 feet. Code F, the largest category, covers aircraft exceeding this threshold. Without folding wingtips, the 777X's 235-foot span would require Code F gates, forcing airlines to operate from fewer airport facilities. The aerodynamic advantage of longer wingspans produces quantifiable fuel savings. Mark Drayler, professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT, explained the physics. A wing pushes down on the air. The longer the wingspan, the more air it can push down on. The way the physics work out, a longer wing requires less power to produce the same amount of lift as a shorter wing would need. The 777X demonstrates approximately 10% reduction in fuel burn compared to competing wide-body aircraft. Boeing's design testing revealed that the folding tip configuration requires 3% less block fuel compared to a wing with fixed winglets designed to conform to Code E dimensions. The wing itself incorporates advanced composite materials based on technology from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The wing surface area increased from 4,702 square feet on second-generation 777s to 5,562 square feet on the 777X. The aspect ratio increased from 9 to 1 to 10 to 1, producing additional aerodynamic efficiency. 
Boeing developed a specifically constructed $1 billion factory using largely automated production techniques for these composite wings, marking the first time Boeing produced wings entirely in-house. The propulsion system features the GE9X engines, currently the most efficient high-thrust commercial turbofans ever built. Each engine measures approximately 11 feet wide with 16 fan blades. These engines move enormous amounts of air for superior efficiency, pairing with the long composite wings to offset the extra weight added by the folding mechanism. The folding mechanism represents engineering complexity unprecedented in commercial aviation. An 11-foot hydraulic actuator system rotates the wingtips from vertical ground position to the extended flight position. The folding movement completes in approximately 20 seconds. Electrical locking mechanisms secure the tips in the extended flight position. During normal operations, the 777X maintains folded wingtips while taxiing. After landing, once the aircraft slows below 50 knots, the wingtips automatically fold. The FAA created special certification rules for the 777X because no commercial jet had ever used folding wingtips. They issued strict conditions in 2018 that forced Boeing to prove the wingtips could survive extreme loads, crosswinds, and mechanical failures. When the 7779 first flew in January 2020, engineers watched the folding sequence during landing, and the system worked exactly as designed. The A350 cannot scale to match the 777X's capacity without structural redesign and new engine development. Airbus currently has no high-capacity competitor in the twinjet market. If global travel continues shifting toward mega-hub networks, the 777X becomes the aircraft airlines rely on for maximum revenue per flight. Boeing controls the high-capacity twin-jet segment, a market Airbus has no immediate answer for.